Are you getting the side-by-side -side configuration is incorrect error whenever you launched Google Chrome? This error can occur due to a number of reasons so there's no universal fix that we can provide. Instead, this video will show you a set of solutions that we've compiled over the years on how to best resolve this problem on your Windows PC. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. Fix number one, verify if your Google Chrome browser is updated. For some people, the main reason for the side-by-side -side configuration is incorrect error message that they're getting is running an outdated Google Chrome. Click the three dots at the upper right. Select Settings. On the left panel, select About Chrome. Allow Chrome to scan for updates and install any new updates at this time. Fix number two, update your Windows operating system. The other important aspect of your computer that you must update regularly is your operating system. There is no reason not to install the latest version of Windows if it's available as it provides a slew of new features, improvements, and security patches, among other things. Fix number 3, Perform System File Checker Windows includes diagnostic tools such as the System File Checker to scan certain sets of files when there's a problem. This is especially helpful when certain things fail to start or when there's configuration conflicts with apps in the system. Here's what you need to do. Press the Start button on your keyboard and in the Windows search box, type in CMD. Open the command prompt. In the command prompt, type in this command and press Enter, SFC, Scano. Wait for your system to finish scanning. It may take a few minutes for the process to be completed. Reboot your PC and check for the problem afterwards. A system file checker is usually enough to fix the Chrome side-by-side -side configuration is incorrect error, but if nothing changes, you can try two more commands to further check the health of your files. Just open the command prompt once again, and then do these two commands. Be sure to reboot your PC after doing each of these commands in the command prompt. Fix number 4, Repair Google Chrome via Control Panel The next solution that you must try is to go to the Control Panel and try to repair the Google Chrome application from there. If you haven't tried this yet, here are the steps that you must do. Press the Start button on your keyboard and in the Windows search box, type in Control Panel. Open the Control Panel app. Go to the Programs and Features menu. In the list of apps, highlight Google Chrome and then click the Repair button at the top. After the repair, close Google Chrome and load it again to check for the problem. Fix number 5, scan the system for threats or malware. If you are the adventurous type who usually visit suspicious websites, download pirated files and apps, or install software from untrusted sources, it's possible that your system's security may have been compromised. The presence of virus or other type of malware may affect the performance as well as the behavior of applications. Fix number 6, delete and reinstall Google Chrome. Another direct way to fix any Google Chrome related issue is to reinstall the app. Erasing Chrome from the system and adding it afterwards may work if the cause of the problem is due to an internal error application, file corruption, or unknown software glitch that's buried deep within the system. <laughs> Fix number 7, Perform a System Restore System Restore is a Windows OS feature that can be used to fix software issues by allowing the system to revert to its previous working state. Windows regularly creates a restore point so that a user can use a specific restore point to go back in time and load the state of the Windows OS at that particular period. Here's how. Press Windows key plus R to open Run dialog box. At Run dialog box, type rstrui and hit enter. This will open System Restore window. Click Next tab. Click to check Show more restore points. Select the restore point before you started experiencing the error and click Next tab. Wait for it to complete. Click Finish after System Restore process is complete. Restart your computer after System Restore. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.